Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Kimberly Metzger Mahalik, an art teacher from Maine. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi, my name is Kimberly Metzger Mahalik and I am a high school art teacher and today I'm going to show you how to make chalkboard signs that you can use to hang in your room or in your kitchen, kind of like inspiration boards, um, using vinyl stickers. So you will need for this project some sort of vinyl, some sort of surface to put it on. I just use these metal plates that I got for pretty cheap at Michael's. And then you will need chalkboard paint. I use chalkboard spray paint and then obviously chalk. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the process. For the first part of this process, you'll need to have vinyl stickers. I made mine using a Cricut machine, but absolutely you can hand cut your own uh, using a stencil knife and vinyl that you order online or get at the store. Then what you'll see that I'm doing is I'm adding transfer tape. It's clear so that it will be able, you'll be able to see through the, the adhesive part. The purpose of the transfer tape is, is to lift up the sticker so that it stays in place. Then you need to burnish it. I was just using my hand. Um, here you can see that I'm trying to stick it down to make sure it stays on well to the metal so that when I spray it with the chalkboard paint, it won't, uh, it won't lift or the paint won't seep through at the edges. And then um, any parts that are sticking just make sure you give it an extra little nudge with your finger or your fingernail and it usually comes off pretty quickly. For the moose one I be only had two big shapes so I could just use my hand to do it. I didn't have to use transfer tape. I could have um, but I just wanted to show you what the process would be like with just your hand. So with this one it's a looks like it's a male moose and a, a small moose. After your sticker is secure, it's time to go outside and spray paint. Obviously, you need to be in a well-ventilated area. You need to make sure the nozzle is facing away from you. I found that I had to remove the twine so that it wouldn't spray paint the twine black. And then you'll need to do two coats, but in between them, you need to wait for them to dry. Once the chalkboard is dry to the touch, then it's time to take off the vinyl sticker and, um, and see your finished product. So what I'm doing here is just pulling off this, the vinyl. You can see that it's, it's still very sticky, so I just make a pile of it um, whenever I'm working with vinyl. And you do have to use a little bit of strength to pull it off, but as you can see, the edges are super clean and you're able to get a lot of detail on it. With the second one there was a lot more detail and little tiny parts and so you just have to go in, in sections making sure you lift off all the little tiny areas as you go. One thing that's important to note with chalkboard is that if you read the directions they usually say to wait 24 hours before you actually apply chalk to it and generally you're supposed to rub it um, with the edge of the chalk before you actually start to write on it. So keep that in mind as you are working. But as you can see, as I'm pulling off the vinyl, you can read all the words, it says adventure awaits. I'm planning to use these as like goal lists or wish lists or you know chore lists for my sons. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Chalkboard paint is super easy to use and vinyl stickers are awesome. 